don't. Okay. <laughs> it's funny though. Um, okay, so my daughter Jory has asked me um, <laughs> to share my testimony and um, here it goes. Um, on May 29th, 2010, um, I had a massive brain aneurysm and the way that I knew that I had a massive brain aneurysm was I never get headaches and I just so happened to get a very, very severe headache and I um, let my husband know that he needed to call the hospital and that is <clears throat> the last thing that I remember for probably about, I'm guessing, a couple weeks um, and I um, was in a coma. Um, they had went in and tried to um, attempt to repair and told my husband what it would consist of um, and he wasn't sure that he wanted it done because um, he was trying to ask well what was the possibility of me being okay me being able to walk to talk and um, my neurosurgeon basically said, well, the necessity is for her to live. So we're going to try this. And um, I'm guessing they had told me, now this is because I wasn't, I was in a coma. They had told me that three different times they had said that I probably wasn't going to live. <clears throat> and then finally, when they got to the point where they had done the surgery and they realized that it was successful, that it, the surgery itself was going to sustain my life. Um, the possibilities of me being okay, um, being able to speak, see, walk, talk, um, and not have um, anything wrong were small, very small. And um, during that time, um, I had um, a visitation with the Lord. I was on my way to heaven. And um, it's hard to describe it because it was the best feeling in the whole world, actually out of the whole world. And um, I was just, the feeling of love was incredible. I've never, ever felt that here. and. I've been in love and had people love me not like that. And um, I was on my way following the Lord up a, it seemed like a mountainside with a flat and upward uh, path. And um, I was following him and um, he turned around and when he turned around, I knew that I had to come back. It wasn't my time, I guess, but I knew in my heart there were no words spoken. There was, but I knew and um, I fell on the ground and told him I didn't want to go back. And he told me it wasn't about me. He said, it's not about you, it's about me. And then we were at the bottom again, and I woke up. And I didn't know that I had been gone for that long. And um, little did I know that, I mean, when I woke up first, they had to, you know, try me in therapy to see what my disabilities were, and first it was um, eyesight, speech, hearing, and those I could do right in my hospital room, in my hospital bed. And um, day after day after day, and then it was walking and talking, and then walking and talking together, and then they took me to the grocery store 
um, to see if I knew how to shop, um, little things like that. And um, God had another plan because there was nothing wrong. And my neurosurgeon was absolutely amazed. And um, he is a believer now. And um, I'm sure that he's seen many miracles through, but this was, I wasn't supposed to live, much less not have any damage. And um, but the Lord made sure of that. And um, I'm just so thankful. And um, about how you, you told you to go back to your and children and stuff. Oh, and then um, when I went in to visit my neurosurgeon um, for one of my last appointments, um, he said, could you go over and could you tell the nurses so that they can see you and talk to them and let them know that you're fine? And so we did. We went um, and saw the nurses and hugged them and thanked them. And I was in a coma, but I knew one of them. I knew she was one of the ones that had taken care of me in the very beginning. And um, I'm just thankful. I'm very, very thankful and I'm more amazed than they are of the abilities and that he's given me. And um, I just can't wait to see him again. So um, this is my testimony. And um, he loved you just like he loves me. And can you share about how you said to about my church? Say about my church. Did he say something about that? Right, when he said that it wasn't about me, that it was about him, when the Lord told me that, he, he said it was about, it's about him and that we are his and his church are his family. And I mean, it wasn't even spoken in words. It was just, I knew that I knew. I could hear it but he wasn't moving his mouth. So I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but I just don't think that we speak the same here as there. It's like we speak heart to heart. And um, it is about his church and it's about all of us as a family coming together and um, functioning in the way that and making it all about him because it is all about him and um, what else oh and just so that you know it's emanceful emanceful love everywhere the feelings are incredible and the smell is beyond this world literally so um, I just want you guys to know that he loves you and um, he loves me and um, thanks for listening.